Hello everyone, I am Neil Adri and uh, we are discussing about resource allocation type 1 and 2 today. In the last session we have already seen resource allocation type 0 for PDSCH resource allocation in LT. So if you are not subscribed to our channel yet, do subscribe, click on the bell button there to get the notifications of all the upcoming videos and uh, you can follow us in Facebook also. Today we will see the difference between resource allocation type 1 and 2. In resource allocation type 0, we used to address one bitmap per resource block group. So we are saving signaling resources because earlier we need to address one bitmap or one bit for every resource block. So in radio uh, so in PDSCH allocation type 0, we just achieved addressing resource block groups with one bitmap. So in resource allocation type 1 for PDSCH, the resource block are divided into subset. And a bitmap is defined for every subset instead of every resource block group in type 1 we are dividing them to subsets and we are addressing one bitmap for every subset every subset may have a specific allocation shift also like it will shift in specific allocation so those are some facts and principles of uh, pdsch resource allocation type 1 what is the advantage every single resource block may be addressed so you have a more uh, utilization comparing to type 0 and uh, you have a better spectral efficiency the disadvantage of you know resource allocation type 1 is additional information about subsets okay additional information about subsets have to be sent because when you are introducing subsets in type 1 earlier it was only resource block then in type 0 you introduced resource block groups you addressed one group with one bitmap now you are addressing the subset with many resource block groups you are making one subset and you are addressing one subset with one bitmap and for that subset you need to share additional information for which again you have to you know uh, say some bits or some signaling resources so it is a bit higher signaling comparing to type 0 but definitely lower than the first one wherein we are addressing per resource block one bitmap but uh, it's again comparing to type 0 this has more signaling resources used when we implement resource allocation type 1 let's discuss about type 2 now type 2 is continuous allocation okay so resource allocation is indicated as a start position of resource block let's say 15 resource block are there so you indicate the start position and the number of resource blocks start position of resource block and length of resource block allocation let's say, let's say you have 10 resource blocks and you want to assign 1 to 5 so you have to give the details of start position resource block number 1 until 5 so you have to give the length 1 and 5 so 1 is the starting position of the resource block and length 5 means 1 and then 4 other resource blocks are used for let's say user 1 allocation okay so that is how type 2 is used advantage of type 2 is less bits required for signaling okay so you are saving signaling resources but the disadvantage is only frequency continuous allocations are possible so you can do it in you know certain frequency level so this is the disadvantage of type 2 so, so now the summary let's discuss about all three type of resource allocation type 0 type 1 and type 2 in type 0 you were addressing resource element group with one bitmap in type 1 you addressed resource element groups again combined to form a uh, you know subset and you are addressing every subset through one bitmap and additional information about the subset in type 2 
you address them with starting position of the resource block and the number of continuous uh, resource blocks allocated for, for a user. So these are three different type of allocations but in type 2 or the third type uh, this is only possible for frequency continuous allocations. So that is all for uh, the PDSCH resource allocation types in LT system. Hope you really liked and understood the session and you are also following uh, the recent sessions which we already uh, clarified about the resource allocation type 0. Uh, do watch it in our playlist and in the next session we will be taking one example of type 1 how the subsets are created with uh, resource block groups and how they are addressed and how the information of the subsets are given. So we will see one example of resource allocation type 1. <clears throat> That's all for today. Keep watching and sharing and don't forget to subscribe. Take care till next time. We will meet soon again with the next one. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.